Hi Aries, welcome to your angel card reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So I thought I'd switch it up this uh, month. Instead of doing a spirit guide reading, I'm doing messages from your uh, angels, your guardian, guardian angels, your archangels, whatever uh, messages need to come out at this time from your angels. So I hope you like this. Uh, I may or may not be continuing uh, these readings. I'm not sure because they're not getting a lot of views. So I want to do what you guys uh, like to see. So I may strictly go to uh, bi-weekly uh, yeah, bi uh, love readings uh, for now until maybe things pick up. And then maybe in the future down the road, uh, I may come back to doing these types of readings and also the general readings. I may discontinue those also till sometime in the future and just concentrate on the singles in the love connection reading so you can let me down let me know down in the comments um what you think um but i thought i'd give this a try angel reading so i do have uh several different decks here and i do have the angel answers deck here so throughout this reading if you have one particular question that you really would like an answer to or ask your angels anything like that can be anything i want you to think of that or think of a question and at the end of the reading i will pick an angel answers card and see if we can get guidance advice or some sort of message maybe even an answer about your question so stay tuned for that so welcome aries welcome everybody hope everybody's doing well hope everybody had a great christmas and a happy new year so let's see what is going on for aries so we're going to pull about three oracle cards from each angel deck and then i'll clarify with the tarot and then at the end like i said i will pick an angel answers uh card Let's see if we can get an answer or advice, guidance, like I said, um, from that deck for your questions. So let's see. And I have uh, other ideas in mind, like for these type of readings, like not only doing the spirit messages or the angel messages, doing like um, sacred world kind of messages or animal spirit messages, different like themes like that. But um, at this time, they're not really not really getting views so may not be I mean I really enjoy doing them and I know it's not about the views and subscribers but um, I don't know you can let me know what you think down below in the comments all right let's get let's get three of these for Aries spirit please or Aries angels guardian angels archangels Aries Angels, their team, Angel Team, what do they need to know at this time for January? Or this could be any time whenever you see this. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you like to go back and watch um, previous readings, feel free. All the Aries uh, playlists are below, so please feel free to go back and watch past readings. A lot of stuff down in the... Um, Description box, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, um, tons of stuff down there. So please do feel free to check that out. All right, Aries. Let's see. This is the uh, Guardian Angel deck, and this is the Archangel deck. And then we have the Crystal Angels, and then we have over there the Angel Answers. So let's, okay. Well, we got two here. So let's get one more for Aries at this time. There we go. All right. Let's get one more deck here. Three more cards. And then I'll reveal all the cards. And then we'll clarify with tarot. Okay. What does Aries need to know at this time? Spirit, please, from their angels, their guardian angels, their archangels. Three messages for Aries, please. Thank you so much. Three messages for Aries. Three messages for Aries. One more. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. So this is the Guardian Angel deck. We have Beauty. And I may read just a little snippet from uh, each in the book here. And we have, oh, Archangel Gabriel. So here's an Archangel coming out that you may need to connect with. So I'll read a little bit about that. I'm not an angel expert, so. And then we have love. So let's see, we have beauty first. Well, we got, well, we'll read beauty first. Let's see, 
Okay. Ooh, do, do. I acknowledge my inner beauty and loving gratitude. The angel of beauty reminds you to appreciate this wonderful essence within you. Sit with your eyes closed and breathe deeply. Imagine a perfect rosebud in your heart. See it open slowly, unfurling at its soft red petals and releasing its gentle fragrance. As the rose opens fully, see a bright diamond at the center. This represents your soul. Carry this brightness with you into the world at any time, any time. You meet someone, affirm silently, the beauty in me great, greets the beauty in you. In this way, you can express your beauty for all, for the good of all. Wow. So that's just seeing the beauty within yourself, seeing the beauty within others, with everything around you. Okay. So we have Archangel Gabriel here. A lot here. I trust my inner guidance in the knowledge that I am loved. The name Gabriel in Hebrew means God is my strength. So I just want to read. Uh, Gabriel is said to impart wisdom and knowledge to the incoming soul of an unborn baby. And for this reason, many people view this archangel as a feminine power. She is a natural source of creative inspiration, bringing ideas wrapped in messages of spiritual purpose and growth. She can encourage us to be flexible and inventive in our thinking. If you are seeking inspiration or an extra boost for your creative powers, you may feel drawn to use Gabriel, the Gabriel card as a focus for your thoughts during meditation. You can also use the card when asking the Archangel to overlight a reading. To do this, simply sit for a moment holding the card and focus on the issue that you wish to address. I ask Archangel Gabriel to grace you with her presence. Gabriel will bring you the energy of revelation. So it's all about creativity, uh, growth, um, purpose, almost like a manifesting type of energy, enlightenment kind of energy. So, and then love, I mean, that's pretty basic there. So these two energies are both under Archangel Gabri Gabriel. So um, let's see, love. I don't know if these are in alphabetical order. Let's see. If you wish to bring more love into your life, you first need to increase the amount of loving energy you give out to the world and to yourself. By giving love, you can attract love from others. In contrast, if you focus only on any lack of love in your life, you may become jealous, fearful, or controlling and generate a negative energy that pushes people away. So, you know, that's all about having self-love, love for others, love for things around you. It's almost like you need to see the love and beauty of yourself, people, places, things around you, being in that high vibrational energy and maybe asking Archangel Gabriel to help you in this process, to uh, be in a more creative energy, um, spiritual energy, having the revelations, the inspiration, and maybe um, asking... Gabriel here, Archangel Gabriel, to help you be in a more, if you're feeling low and low self-worth, I feel Gabriel can really help you um, in that area and really raise your vibration to more positive thinking. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. So let's see what the Archangels here have to say. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So yes, you are loved and creative, almost same message coming in there. So now we have Archangel Michael. And now we have Overcoming Difficulties, Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So maybe, you know, you've been through something here and it's really affected like your self-worth, your value, um, and um, your energy. And then we have Archangel Zachiel. Keep an open teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others. Hmm, okay. All right, so we'll clarify those with the tarot. And then we have the crystal angels here. So if you're into crystals, maybe these are some crystals you need for the month of January or at this time, whenever you see this. Rotocrosite, be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. And I had just said that maybe you've been through something here. So that's definitely coming through. Malcolite, prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So positive energy coming here. 
uh, prosperity, abundance in some way, shape, or form coming in for you, possibly. And then we have Sodalite. So your own divine power. Replace codependent people-pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. This is a message for some. To stand your ground, take care of you, do you, and not be so people-pleasing to others. So maybe a message for some. So let's... Um, Let's clarify. So keep thinking of your question. At the end, we'll pull an Archangel card and see what we get. So I'm really getting, um, if some of you have been through something really significant, it's remembering who you are, bringing up your um, self-esteem, your self-value, your worth, your vibration, seeing the beauty and love and everything, and everything, people, places, things around you, overcoming the difficult past, and being true to yourself, remembering who you once were. And maybe by going through this process, maybe in some way you, you, you can help others, either advice, mentorship, um, something like that, just sharing your stories. But to remember to be gentle with yourself and take that time to heal. But I feel whatever, if you've been through something negative in the past, you have positive things coming in for you and to stand in your power and to stand up for yourself for once and not be so people-pleasing, maybe. So this may or may not resonate every single message with everybody, but I'm getting like one big kind of message here. Sometimes they're all individual messages. Sometimes they all run together. I feel like this is all running together. So just take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So let's see. Let's get a card here for beauty. These are big cards for you. Oh, okay. We have loyalty, knight of... Pentacles. So this is taking a very slow, uh, practical approach here with the beauty card. So take your time. <laughs> Whatever you've been through, um, maybe it's been a long process for you. Pentacles is all about value, worth, kind of energy, stability. So maybe whatever you've been through, it's taking you a long time to see things again once in a high value um being stable and grounded and learning to see the beauty again and everything so maybe maybe a slow a, a, you know slow process for you but i feel like you're getting there okay archangel gabriel the five of pentacles abandonment yeah so i i felt that uh some of you may have been through something so if you've had um these are big cards they're bigger than my let's do this so if you've been through something here um where you felt, you know, abandoned or left out in the cold or something here was very, um, I feel like, <laughs> I mean, it could be work, family, friends, a relationship here where you've maybe had to walk away from that or something left your life and you feel abandoned. Just know you have Archangel. You may want to research Archangel Gabriel and maybe he can help you overcome this uh, abandonment feeling, feeling left out in the cold kind of energy to help you raise your vibration, to bring you getting like peace, harmony, self-love again. And we have love right after that. So yeah, and then the five of cups. So yeah, feeling sad, lost, lonely, hurt sadness so yeah sadness and feeling left out in the cold from abandonment but it's a slow process for you so i feel like just keep going slow steady and sure and that knight of pentacles energy in the right direction here uh ask archangel uh, gabriel to help you in this process so remember who you are archangel michael you are a powerful and loving and creative child of god you are very loved and we have the king of wands practicality so a very fiery passionate go-getter kind of energy uh, they are sure of themselves. They're confident. So remember who you once were if you were that fiery, strong, and that's Aries. It's fire. Leo Sag Aries here with the Knight of Wands. That's your energy. So remember who you once were. Strong, fiery, passionate, courageous, and brave. Go-getter. You know, nothing dra drag you down, but I feel like whatever happened might have happened here really brought you down, and now you're finding it hard to get back like to your energy of who you once were. But... <laughs> Archangel Michael is another Michael you may want to uh, ask for help. Here it's telling you, remember who you are. Remember you are that King of Wands. All right, so overcoming difficulties, Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges. 
Seven of Wands. So this is being, you know, defensive on guard, having endurance. Um, yeah, endurance, overcoming difficulties. Wow. So yeah, having that endurance to keep fighting, to stand up for who you are, what you believe in, defending yourself, that you can overcome and defend uh, yourself and stand up for yourself. All right, so we have Teaching and Learning, Arch Archangel Zachiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. So we have the Fool here. This is a new beginning, so taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting at zero, jumping right in. So you may be going on a new path of, you know, helping people, whatever your situation was, if you've been through something and it was, you know, hard and you feel like other people need your help, your advice, your guidance, mentorship, whatever it is for you, just join the social groups and sharing your stories. This is like a new beginning, a new start for you. And I think this is going to help in this process here, whatever it is for you, whatever your situation was. And that's that new beginning, jumping right in that kind of uh, energy. So, all right. So let's get real precise here. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Queen of Cups. So yeah, <laughs> be gentle with yourself. The Queen of Cups is very gentle. They're caring, nurturing, giving, uh, loving, compassionate, peaceful kind of energy. So take time to heal. Self-value, worth, and love. Self-love with the Queen of Cups is that self-love kind of energy. Let me put that right there. So yeah, needing to love yourself on getting with the Queen of Cups, taking that time. All right, so then we have prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Let's see what that is about. Six of Swords. Yeah, so going into a better direction here, sailing into calmer waters, leaving the past behind and just going in a much, much better place. Very healing, balanced, calm, peaceful place. And that's the positive shift moving forward. Wow, okay. And then we have solar light. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but your own divine power. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So let's see what that is about. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, working hard. Huh? Working hard. I feel like you worked hard pleasing other people. This is achievement. Eight of Pentacles is working hard at something. So I feel like everything you've invested and worked hard, pe people pleasing others, it's now time to invest that own energy into yourself instead of others being in that kind of energy. Three of Cups. So being happy, rejoicing, celebrating here. Reunion could be reunion for some here. Uh, but here's some good news coming in. So if you've been waiting for good news, here's some messages and good news coming in for you and being happy, rejoicing, celebrating in some way, coming back together. Maybe with, with somebody you haven't seen in a long time. All right, so let's get a angel answers for you. So whatever um, question you're thinking about at this time, let's see if we can get an answer for you. I do ask Aries if you like how I read, to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Right now, I'm doing four readings a month. Um, four different readings. Uh, love Connection, Singles. Those are two separate. A Love Connection reading, a Love Singles reading, a general reading. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. And then I do a spiritual reading like this. It's either messages from your spirit guides or your angel team or something else. And I've also just started a new series, um, Element water, air, fire, earth, uh, element energy check-ins for the week. So I may or may not be continuing those either. I may discontinue the general and these type of readings, the spiritual readings, and just focus on the love readings for now. And maybe in the future, I'll pick up these other readings back, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. But if you like what you see, you can check out my channel. Please feel free to uh, subscribe if you do. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for all your support you've shown the channel. It's about a year old. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for any kind of support you've shown me, whether you've tipped, donated. PayPal link is below if you'd like to tip. If you reached out for personal reading, if you liked, share, subscribed, um, anything here, any kind of support, thank you. So we have a card here. So let's see, whatever your question is, let's see what we have. Get more information. So whatever you're asking about, whatever you're wondering about, 
is telling here you need to get more information. So whatever that is for you, if you need to make a decision, maybe you need to wait and get more information first. If you ask about a person, maybe you need to get more information about that person. If it's a career or job situation, maybe you need to find out more about what the job, the career, um, all, you know, all aspects of it, what it entails before moving forward, whatever you're seeking here, it's telling you, I'm feeling wait and get more information first before you make a decision of some kind. Aries, well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you next time. And best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.